Hello everyone, I am the Grey Cat and welcome to my Foundation Tutorial Series. In this video, I will tell you what you need to know to get your army started and accept military missions from the King. The first thing you need to do is unlock the Wooden Keep from the Kingdom Estates panel. You can do this once you have 10 serfs and 3 Kingdom Influence. If you do not have 10 serfs, check out Part 4 of this Tutorial Series, How to Promote Villagers to Serve. You should have gained four kingdom influence when you got your first immigrant. If you need to know how to get your first immigrants, check out part two of this series, Four Steps to Getting Villagers a House. The next step is to build the wooden keep. The keep needs a core, a top, and a door to be completed. If you have started your clothing line and already have a weaver's hut making cloth, you can also add some training dummies so that your soldiers can train. Once your keep is finished building, you can hire soldiers there. Soldiers have the same needs as serfs, in other words, food, water, church, and a house. I recommend hiring two soldiers at first and painting a residential zone somewhere near the keep and not too far from where they can fulfill their other needs. Try to use unemployed villagers or you will need to replace them at their current job. Once these first two have got into a house and it has been built, hire four more and they can move into the same house as long as you have not turned off density upgrades. If you are finding this tutorial helpful, why not scratch that like button and subscribe to become a part of the Grey Cat Clan. Also, you can scratch the notification bell to know when I release more videos like this one. Let me know if you are finding this video helpful in the comment section and suggest what you might like to see in my foundation tutorials going forward. Once you have chosen your soldiers, you can equip five of them with swords, as you should have gotten five swords when you built the keep. To do this, go into the army panel and choose the soldiers tab. To the right of each soldier's name is a box you can click on that will allow you to choose a weapon for them. Pick the sword as this should be all you have at this time and that will equip the soldier. You can unequip a soldier by right clicking on the weapon. You definitely want to get those training dummies in now if you haven't already. Just make sure you have cloth. From time to time, the king will make requests for you to send soldiers to help with military missions. It is a good idea to let your soldiers train up for a bit before you accept one of these missions. If you hover your mouse cursor over the I'll prepare my troops right away, you will see the difficulty of the mission and possible rewards you can receive upon success. At this point, you should probably only accept missions with an easy difficulty. If you choose, let me think about it. The mission will remain available to you in the quest notification area for a while. Once you have accepted a mission, you can go into the army panel to prepare your troops. Click on the missions tab, choose the mission you wish to accept by clicking the circle to the left of the mission, and click on the prepare troops button in the bottom right of the panel. This will bring up a panel where you can select the soldiers you wish to send. Click the circle to the left of the soldier's name, Make sure you choose the ones with the weapons and they have at least some training. Under the condition heading, you can see the training level of each soldier. Levels you could see are untrained, partly trained, mostly trained, and fully trained. When you have selected your soldiers, click the Send Troops button at the bottom right. After your soldiers have completed the mission, you will get a notice that the king would like to keep your soldiers with him for another mission and there will even be a third mission after that one. I recommend bringing your soldiers home after this first part in the beginning. Later, when you have more soldiers and more weapons, you can allow them to stay with the king for higher rewards, but for now it is best to let them come home and recuperate. During the mission, some of your soldiers may have become wounded or even died. If they died, their weapons should still be available for you to equip to another soldier and if they were wounded, they should become better over time. Try not to send wounded, untrained, or unequipped soldiers on a mission. Thank you for watching my foundation tutorial. Don't forget to scratch that like button and subscribe to become a part of the Grey Cat Clan. Scratch the notification bell to know when I release more videos like this one, and let me know if you found this video helpful in the comment section and suggest what you might like to see in my foundation tutorials going forward. 